Hey everyone, this is Lomi, and while I really wanted to make some clothing this time, some of the materials I ordered for the project I want to do next got stuck in shipping and haven't arrived yet. Instead, I'll be sharing some of the preliminary work I'm doing for that project. Some of the things I want to make really need to be done using draping, and it helps if you can pin the fabric directly to a form. So today I'm making a quick and dirty dress form for my new YID doll, Laylee. While a fabric dress form is best for long-term use, you can make a great preliminary form using tape. The first thing I do is cut a strip of cardboard out of a paper towel tube. I like using tubes for this because I'll want some curved pieces for something later, too. I'll wrap the doll's body in plastic from a plastic shopping bag. Right now, I'll just secure the edges with a bit of masking tape. You want to make sure the plastic goes up around the shoulders and all the way around the doll's body, and up the neck a little, too. That long cardboard strip I just cut will go down the center of the doll's back, underneath the plastic. This will make it much easier to get the form off the doll's body later on. I don't want to damage her face up, so I'll take off her head before moving on to the next part. Making the form is really easy. If you're into crafts, you've probably seen cosplayers make forms like these before. For people, duct tape is best. But for dolls, narrower tapes like masking tape or painter's tape can sometimes be a better choice, because it lets you get more detail in the shape. I start at the top, wrapping a strip of tape around the neck and across the shoulders. Then I put two long strips down over the fullest part of the bust, and tape around the body under the bust to secure these pieces. This keeps the plastic from shifting around as I do the next part. When laying tape over very curvy areas, like the bust, it's best to apply the tape vertically because this lets you retain the most detail in your dress form. You want this to look like a second skin on your doll. I work my way around the side and across the back, then progress down the rest of the doll's body. There are a few places where I have to tear the tape lengthwise to make it fit right. Don't be afraid to use pieces of different widths and sizes to get a good fit. This form is supposed to be functional, not pretty. Though it doesn't matter what kind of tape you use, so long as you're comfortable with it. You can make pretty forms with colored or patterned duct tape, too. Coincidentally, this is also a great way to create form-fitted patterns for your dolls. I'll show you how to do that another time, once I have more tape. As it is, I used up all my masking tape, and now I'm on to the roll of blue painter's tape. 
depending on what you're making, you might stop at the hips or include the upper parts of the legs. I need the thighs wrapped as well for my form, at least part way down. When I get to the legs, I don't have enough plastic to wrap them both individually, so I cut some extra plastic off the back and patch it in on one of the legs. Then it's just wrapping them like the rest of the doll's body, though it's important to keep the doll's legs straight as I do this part, which makes it a little tough to get the tape where it needs to go. I'll need to use a lot of narrower strips to complete the crotch part of the form, but patience and persistence will get me there. I go over her backside with more vertical strips, then finish wrapping the upper thighs. Before I remove the dress form, I cut some more rings from what's left of the cardboard tube. I want to make sure they're big enough to go around the neck and arms. You'll see why in a minute. Then it's time to remove the form from the doll. You'll remove the form by cutting along that cardboard strip, which now creates a protective barrier between the scissors and your doll's delicate resin. Since you have to wiggle the scissors underneath the tape and plastic to cut, it's usually easier to do this with very small scissors. Or we can take advantage of that protective cardboard strip and just cut down the length of the doll's back with a craft knife. So long as you're careful to stay on that cardboard strip, your doll will be perfectly safe from the blade. While I'm here, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to my supporters on Patreon. You've helped me so much these past few months, and I'm so grateful for your support. It's been tough to be creative this season, but you've all been so inspiring and encouraging to me, so thanks for being there for me to bounce new ideas around. Once the dress form is cut open, it's time to peel it off. Wiggle the form off a little at a time to make sure it doesn't get damaged or distorted. It's tough to get it to come loose at first, because it's skin tight but eventually it'll come off and you'll be able to slide it off your doll just like clothing. Before I close the back again, I use those cardboard rings to reinforce the neck and armholes of the dress form. These are parts of the form that can often collapse or become misshapen, which can affect the way garments made on the form fit. By taping cardboard into these places, it gives them extra strength and support and ensures they can hold their shape. Then I close the back, lining up the cut down the back of the dress form and carefully taping it closed. I use small pieces of tape at first, just enough to hold it in place. I'll reinforce it with longer pieces wrapped around the sides of the form later, but not until it has a little stuffing to help it keep its shape. For stuffing, I use polyfill. It's easiest to push the stuffing up through the legs, but you don't want to put in too much right at first. Just enough to give it a little shape before you reinforce the back. Putting in too much stuffing too soon can make that tape on the back pop open, but trying to reinforce the back too soon can distort the form too. If the back does pop open, just remove some stuffing and retape the back.
Once the whole form is stuffed nicely, I close the holes for the arms and neck. You can close the bottoms of the thighs too, but I might mount this on a stick later so it can stand at doll height, so I leave them open for now. And there we go, a finished tape form. It's firm enough it will hold its shape nicely when I drape things on it. And since it's just tape and plastic and fluff, I can poke pins directly into it to make my next project easier. That's all for today though. Thanks for watching. Bye.